final recording today. I think I'm if you if you guys didn't watch last episode, we we literally went through possibly the best outcome. We got 16 diamonds. Wow. So okay, we have chicken. Now I I'm a bit nervous cuz I kind of want to check out the Nether, but I'm very very scared to. Now quickly, I guess we should grab some lava, but I I think that's what we're going to do. I don't know if this is going to be a longer one or whatever. We'll just go with the flow. Now, I'll be honest here. I'm very kind of displeased with with just the nether in general. And I'm very scared to kind of jump into it because from my understanding, I haven't played the nether update and I mentioned this already, except apparently it's three times harder to find a nether fortress and when i was uh, so i've been googling i've been i've been researching i'm like how are we gonna find this fortress and the first thing i found is if you don't find one in like the first five minutes <laughs> delete your nether save file and make a new one because you're gonna be unlucky and i really hate that so but we're gonna need to risk it now no let's not uh let's not waste our diamonds tools here so let's throw it in our one chest we have here I'm, i i really need to make this better this chest but right now it will do hmm we're gonna need gold armor isn't that correct so let's also throw that in there oh this is disgusting i hate this but i don't know how much we're gonna need for when it comes to gold armor but that's what we're going to need to manage. Anyway, questions. Now, I got through a majority of them, which is absurd. I really do move through these way too quickly. Okay. But let's, while we make this armor, let's find what we get. Oh, gosh, that's loud. Subject wheel. What would you do if your channel suddenly blew up? I would go onto Mr. Beast's YouTube channel, and I would uh, I'd play Among Us with him. <laughs> is that... It? I, that is what I do. No no questions asked. I I don't know. Overall, I, I personally don't really want my channel to blow up because I feel like I'm that type of... I was, I'd be one of those type of people who would get really entitled if I became famous. Maybe not, but I, I still... It's one of those situations where like I kind of fear that. And just in general, it just... it Just like the possibility of it just makes me kind of worried. I'm... When you become famous, you hold a lot of power, and I, I don't feel in the case where I I should hold that, because, uh, like, even when, like, even, like, right now, let's say I'm completely fine, and I'm not, like, entitled and stuff like that, and I, sure, like, people might view me as famous, I don't think I'd, I'd view myself that way. Now, I know there's a funny meme about one person that I find like talks about it really well is and don't don't I know there's a meme going around I know there's a meme going around but I'm 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 talking completely like seriously here but I think a person who talked about it legitimately really well is Jaden Animations because <laughs> uh she mentioned how like how she personally feels like people view her persona and person kind of like she doesn't know if she can be uh oh, i think call me carson also said this in here but they both said like how they don't they don't believe that like in person like if they're the people people see them as in real life because they're a persona in a thing and i feel like when you become famous that's most that's a huge huge thing and i i fear i also fear that did i not start the recording no i didn't i'm a fool but that's how that i i agree with just that kind of mentality and you either you either get kind of blown out of your head with power and you think you're better than people, which, being honest, if you can make a YouTube video and you think you're better than people, you're not. <laughs> with enough time and enough effort, people can be whatever they want. And so shut up. If you're if you're an entitled person, <laughs> leave. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm just fooling around, but... That's that's kind of how I see it in a in a way. Just never think you're above people because you're not. In I always have like moments in my brain where I kind of think like, you know, I could do this a lot better than this person, but 
being on being honest here even if you think that you can't um you're most of the time if you just always set your standards low always think you can do something oh what am i getting at here always what i'm saying is set your standards low so whenever you do something really good you impress yourself should i be the one saying this i have no idea uh, do i have the right to uh, i don't know i have freedom of speech we don't have food again this is becoming a serious problem actually we should have wheat grown this will be enough to kind of traverse a little bit of it did i grab blocks yeah we have 28 okay let's let's kind of experiment with this and uh if we die that's enough for one one that's enough for okay that's better that's enough for a few pieces of bread let's let's hit this nether let's let's hope we find another fortress but if i got famous i would i i personally i don't want to be famous but if the channel did blow up i'd probably still post i'd probably uh, i would people would need to remind me every day that like Cruz, you're not big stuff don't think you're big stuff because even if i'm doing something cool i don't want to be become a person who views themselves as better than people because i'm not I really am not. I should have brought an iron pickaxe, but this is okay. What a... Now, we spawned in one of the... Can I mine this? Oh, I love the look at this block. We spawned in a really bad spot. Oof. But let's just look around. Now, if we die, we don't, we're not going to lose anything substantial, so this is good. But thank you for your question, because it's interesting. It's it's something I like to think about. I think everyone kind of thinks about that. It's like one of the things, like, once if I got a million dollars tomorrow, or something like that. There's magma cubes. They're hostile. We don't want to deal with them. But that that's how I view that. Alright, next question. Thank you, Yeas Billyas. Always making me think about myself next is did i not remove that question oh have you heard of frame makers if so what's your opinion now i have heard of frame makers now i don't completely understand what it is but i did watch the trailer when it first released and from my understanding it's it's similar to is it rivals of aether I think that's what it's called, which is a video game, which is kind of similar in vain to Smash Bros, but different, sort of, somehow, I don't know, but it, it's somehow unique, and I think, uh, it, I think it looks great, the create, now they have like a in-depth character crea uh, creator, which I think looks absolutely fantastic, and I absolutely love that, and, and, but I, I don't know how like they would make it so like, um, you would make a oh no 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 okay well we're gonna die here but that's all right yeah we shouldn't have went to the nether that way that was a waste of a lot of gold but that's okay <laughs> what did we really lose there just nothing that big but overall i think it looks great i i love the character creator i know that there was like a, a lot of large mods for rivals of aether and i think overall that that game looks like a lot of fun and just not rivals of aether but frame makers it looks like a lot of fun and it looks like they have a character from the game i'm talking about but i do think that with the character creator and just everything about it it looks like honestly like it could be an amazing game i'd love to see like people import like smash characters into it and you could really have like the biggest thing ever but I don't know if that's possible, but it seems to have like an in-depth trophy making thing, an in-depth uh, character creator, and it's just, it's overall just huge. Okay, let's, let's be more safe about this next time. Now, I'm not, I'm okay if I die here, like these blocks, I'm just, I'm just doing this to traverse. I want to get like a better look of where we are in the nether, because i i'm not going to go back over there we could get the little bit of stuff that we left behind but would it be worth it we had like one of the worst i honestly think we have one of the worst nether spawns which is really sad it, i'm so happy we weren't wearing diamonds we just wasted a bit of gold i guess i can't barter now 
yes, I did my a little bit of research before I came here, but we can't barter now, which is an issue. I hate all of this. I hate this so much. This this is honestly like one of the worst spawns we could have had. Huh. I guess I could try getting No, he jumped. Look at that. Send a do an epic replay. Yeah. Okay. This biome sucks. Would it be bad for me to say like I really hate this update? I, I feel bad saying that, but I really hate the nether now. It really, like, this update kind of just makes it, unless you have, like, really, really good gear, it makes it almost nearly impossible to traverse. And I, I hate it. I hate everything about it. Oh, here we have, we can walk again, but we'll be attacked by Magma Cube. Oh, he's a baby, it's fine. Hey, cutie. Okay, I guess last question. I don't know. This episode might be the shortest one there is. Mushrooms. Nope. And we're almost out of blocks. I hate this biome and I, I want it to go away. Next question. Skylanders. Ah, uh, now this is a interesting question, and this is where I'm going to get deep again. So, for those who don't know, which, if you don't, you haven't truly lived, Skylanders was a game released by Activision back in 2011, and it was a game that's personally, it was like my childhood game. It's what built me, and it's really weird because. I view Skylanders kind of in two ways, two parks, and I'm going to get kind of deep here because this is, this, when am I not deep, really? But, basically, I view Skylanders in kind of two ways. There's, like, the game and the nostalgia that it built, because I would never be here if it weren't for Skylanders. I, if you guys don't know, this channel used to be nothing but Skylanders content, and then I privated all my videos because, well, I'll get to that. But, what ended up happening was, I... I I, I'm gonna talk about it from a game standpoint, and then I'm gonna talk about kind of my personal beliefs on it and why I'm not hot about it. But overall, when I uh, w when I played the games, I loved them. Like Skylanders got me through a lot. When I was a younger kid, uh, not that I I couldn't relate with other guys because, and when I'd go home and play that game and be like, you know what, this is this is fun and fine. Add that to the death counter. And that's, it's something that, like, the characters were great. Every design was amazing and well made. And, and all the, just in general, it was just such a fun game. I loved, I loved collecting the figures. I loved doing that. And I still have my collection to this day. And I collected every one because I enjoyed it that much. But then I kind of look at, like, the personal side of that game. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like I'm now the Skylander guy, which I don't like because this channel before was just the Skylander videos and I really just hate that. I, I kind of want to, once you play something for a while, you kind of grow out of it and you become di a different person over time. So when somebody goes like, yo, you still like this Skylanders game? I, I'll, uh, no, because it's been so long that like I'm, I've kind of grown out of it. And that's why I don't like kind of associating with it, but it's still something that I'd play for nostalgia and stuff like that. But I don't like, I don't personally love being like, hey, Cruz is the Skylander guy. No, I want to be something new. I want to be, I want to be uh, the Minecraft guy. I don't know. Just something that isn't associated to one thing. And I think that's just overall just something like, if you get popular with something, like <laughs> I'm going to use uh, the Holy God uh, Ninja here. He uh he's only he can only do Fortnite content, and that sucks because if you if he's famous but people only like him for one thing and I feel like if you're stuck in one kind of category it can get really annoying and sad. 
And that's kind of how I, I view Skylanders is just I, I want to branch out to new things and I don't want to always be known as the guy who made Skylander videos. But uh, overall, I loved those games. They, they I wouldn't be who I am today if it weren't for them. And uh, sure, I got judgment, but those people suck and I still enjoy them. And I'll still play them sometimes. Usually whenever I'm really sad, I need a good nostalgia booster to make me happy. So that, that that's that's how I view it. Overall, the game itself, it's great. I enjoyed it when I was younger. I, I, I don't get as much fun with it now, but when I was young, seeing uh, some giant mummy man punch some little green chompy boys, that, that filled me with such pride and joy. So yeah, that's, th that's the deep cut of things. Now, I have no idea how we're doing for time because I did not check the wheel, so I do not want us to go high. So, I'm gonna eat this. This is a beautiful lake. 